Hello and welcome back to my Sonic Heroes playthrough. Today we're going to be doing the uh, extra missions for Team Duck. <coughs> I don't know if we'll get through all of them today, um, but let's at least make a start. Um, this isn't the most difficult of the extra missions that will go to Team Chaotix depending on the mission. <clears throat> I don't think it's really interested in the points, I think it just wants us to do it quickly. We shall see. It would make sense for them to want us to do it quickly because killing a hundred enemies will get you quite a few points. So. We'll see about that. There we go. Can't really have any attack there. As in getting hit will lose us some time, so... Aha! Aha. That's useful. Two power cores in a couple of seconds. That means my fly type can be useful. Now we've got to find all the enemies we can. <coughs> Can't be that difficult. There aren't any particularly difficult enemies. On this stage, this gives us some time to Shadow is pretty beefed up. That'll do. Yeah. You're dead. You appear to be dead. A hundred enemies. <coughs> right. Let's slow down so we can... Can we actually go back along the bobsled track? To get enemies we missed. Let's have a look. Oh yes we can. Don't know if it's really worth it going all this way back just to hit one enemy, but hey-ho. Your sir, sirs even, there's more than one of you. Oh, come on. <clears throat> the rocket itself's not even useful. You know like how in Shadow the Hedgehog, the vehicles really aren't useful because your ground speed is a lot faster than any of the vehicles anyway. No, I did not want to do that. No, I missed one. Tragedy. You just kind of have to know where all the enemies are. I don't think this is going to do anything. Oh no. Because there are more enemies here than there are. Where can I go? Hiya. Swingy arm attack. <coughs> I think the less I talk about Shadow the Hedgehog, the happier people are going to be. Well, if they've played it, that is. Yes, people who have played Shadow the Hedgehog will be much happier if I don't talk about Shadow the Hedgehog. I'll do. What's down here? Ah, there's one. Kill it. There's got to be another one here. Come on. All I want is your death. There's like too much twice. Um, let's carry on, shall we? Don't really 
very caravan. It's a roll. We're watching, we're watching. <clears throat> if we're doing it on a time limit, the key with Team Dark would be to freeze time as much as possible. No. Jeez. You have to jump before you ascend. Do not see the point of those flying robots being there other than for me to kill. Twenty more. And I can smell the victory. That's what Sonic says, I think, <laughs> at the end of the uh, Eggman thing. like, I can smell victory. I'm sorry, did I disturb your sleeping? And you. I did not need that. In fact, hit me. I don't want that key. If we were collecting rings, we'd be done by now. Well, it depends how many rings they want us to collect, of course. Why are we killing all these robots anyway? How do we break? Oh, that's how we break. Damn seagulls. Mine, 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 mine! Will you just... Shut up! Five more. Aha! We shall do this with one little blast. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Didn't quite reach. I wonder what the radius is for the team blast. Obviously it won't destroy all things within that radius. Yeah, it's a time thing. <coughs> okay, do it quickly. Understood. I think we can do that. <coughs> oh yeah, I forgot. I finished the act with a key. Oh, who cares? May as well do the bonus challenge. It'll get us some extra lives for... Well, no good reason, to be honest. And you can collect more stuff. This isn't about being quick, because we're not trying to chase an emerald. We just want to get more time. So beat Omega, you can collect more shit that way. It's usually a good thing. Even when it says be fly, just be Omega. Nah. Like I said, I think everyone's just as fast <coughs> in this time. Oh, jeez, I have to be shallow for this bit. Oh, yep. No, yep. Yep. They're actually really hard to collect because shadow's so small. Ah, I did not want that. You guys are dicks throwing spike balls at me. No, they're bombs. They explode. They're spike bombs. No, I want to be Omega. He's just as fast as Shadow in this weird tunnel underneath Seaside Hill. Come on. The sides slow you down so much. Going up the side, if you go too far up, <coughs> it's a bit rubbish. To be fair, if I was going to be, um, you know, getting extra lives for any team, Team Dark would be a good one. I think I have enough lives though, so this was probably a waste. Let's just get to the end. How many extra lives do we get that I'm not going to use anyway? Five. 
five extra lives that we're not going to use. Congratulations. You have wasted your time. The game doesn't explicitly say that, but it may as well. Right. Ocean Palace. Bring it on, I say. <coughs> Sorry. Right. Defeat 100 enemies. By defeat, you mean smash to oblivion. I would say smash them to Timbuktu, but for all I know, we could be in Timbuktu. I've never been to Timbuktu, I don't know what the, uh, you know, I don't know what the landscape is like. Maybe they have lots of ruins and have a local location called Seaside Hill. Who knows, really? Ooh, neat. Smashy, smashy. Man, I would love my job if this is what I did. You certainly will. He's such a helpful robot. <clears throat> What's he gonna do after this game? I'm gonna need that. What's he going to do after this game? Like, he could be a flight attendant, uh, a personal healthcare companion. No. What do you think Omega should do after this game? I mean, I know he's in Sonic 06, but you know, what do you? Th it's never really specified. I don't think what his career is. So, what do you think Omega's career should be? You know, what what function would he... What purpose would he serve? What would you program him to do? If Omega were your... You know, your personal robot... What would you want him to do, guys? Come on, leave me a comment. Oh, oh there's no point. I think, let's go down here, he would be a good, uh, well, I mean, he'd be good in a scrapyard, you know, smashing metal and whatnot. He would be good at... Um, Uh, now you're really testing me. What would Omega be good at? I'm sure there's lots of things he'd be good at. Nothing there? Hmm. I'll think of something while I kill all these robots. He can glide, he'd make a good, um, you know, like in the future when they have like hovering granny mobiles. <clears throat> he'd make a good one of those. I don't think he'd appreciate carrying the elderly around, I don't think that'd be his thing. But it's a start. <clears throat> um, what else could he do? He could be a consumer model. Um, I don't think he'd want to be a consumer model either. <clears throat> he could be a one robot army. You know. Or he could. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I forgot I've got no team words. He could submit an application to Aperture Science 
and experiment with the portal guns. I don't know. Would that be a good career choice? You know, he could join Atlas and Peabody in their uh, quest to further scientific research. It's just a suggestion. But would they be able to put him back together if he died? <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> to be honest, I think Portal 2 would have been a lot better if they'd have added Omega to it. Because, you know, <clears throat> that's the one thing most people complain about Portal. And it's not a personal complaint I have, but it's a complaint some people have, which is you <clears throat> have a gun, but you can't shoot anything. You, can, you shoot portals, you can't kill anything with portals. Or you can, actually. Uh, we, you know, you kill GLaDOS with portals in the first game, so that's, that's not true for a start. But some people complained about that. So, <clears throat> I'd say Omega would have made Portal a lot better. You know, just... I don't know what for, though, because there's no enemies in Portal, really. Well, there are, there's the turrets. You could blow those turrets to hell. It'd be awesome. Oh, But I like the turrets. They're actually pretty cute. But they do shoot you. That's the thing though, the turrets shoot you, Omega can shoot them back. Omega, I think I found you your uh, future career. For now though, let's smash some more robots. <coughs> Grand Metropolis! There's gotta be loads of robots in Grand Metropolis. In fact, in Team Chaotix, aren't there like 85 robots? And you have to kill every last goddamn one of them. Rouge just fell to her death. She will be missed. Ah. Lance. Oh, Sir Lancelot. He was a good robot. A bit dumb. But then, as were all his comrades. Oh, goddamn. Oh. <clears throat> How did I do that? Don't do a ground attack on these guys. You will plummet to your death. If you do it without some. Um, you know, if you do it before the bridge comes out. All he has is a shield. He's like Captain America, only a robot. So he's exactly like Captain America. I don't know. Although it's not an invincible shield. It's, you know, a stone shield that can be removed with a couple of hits. Those still work. Ah. I don't want to fall. <coughs> I don't want to die. Not yet. That's a uh, family guy thing, isn't it? I can't go out there. It's cold. Yeah. Are there more robots in here? Oh, yes, there are. Are there more in here? I should hope so. Yeah. Come on, Shadow. Don't care about those. Aha, your shield is mine. What? This isn't an adamantium shield. Wait, it's not adamantium, is it? It's something else. Adamantium is the other thing. I love how they invent, like, how they made up an element and called it adamantium. Marvel were just taking the piss at that point, weren't they? Are there any down there? 
they were. Marvel were taking the piss when they um, came up with that element. Adamantium. I wonder what Adamant thought of it. I guess he must have been flattered that Stan Lee decided to name an element after him. Ah! Do what I want you to do, damn it. Um, but no, the Captain America's shield is apparently made of... <clears throat> I think my brother said it was vibranium. Which, again, is like a made-up element. Don't care about any of those. Any other enemies in the vicinity? No. Okay then. Uh, I was watching uh, Captain America Winter Soldier yesterday. It's entertaining, it really is. Like, you know. I don't know whether to say it's a good film, because it's a superhero film. <clears throat> but it's enjoyable nonetheless. Like, the first the first part of it is like nothing but talking. There's a little bit on a ship, I suppose, that kind of makes up for that. But, and then after that, there's just loads and loads and loads of action. Which, to be honest, that's, that's what we came for, isn't it? We, you know, we come for the action, we stay for the um, corny one-liners, I suppose. I think they get less corny as time goes on. So, if that film is anything to go by, then you can kick ass with a shield. However, that egg pawn is not equipped to be kicking anyone's ass, leastly mine, with a stone shield. Also, this game came out in the days, I don't even know if the fan, I don't even think the Fantastic Four films had come out yet. The actor who plays Captain America, whose name escapes me, is also Johnny Storm in the old Fantastic Four films. Uh, you want my honest opinion? I don't like those films. I'm, I've never been that interested in the Fantastic Four. Um, I don't know why. I think it's, because remember in one of my other videos where I said that I don't like characters who are impossibly smart. Like, Reed Richards is an impossibly smart character, and <clears throat> characters like that annoy me because they're just unrealistic. Although, characters with superpowers are unrealistic. But, you know. I guess I don't like people taking the piss with their characters, and sometimes those. Though, that's the thing. I don't mind impossible characters, I just want them to be sensible about it. Because obviously, like, there's a lot of <clears throat> impossibly smart characters. I can tolerate characters as long as they have limitations. And the whole tale is like, oh, I reprogrammed a supercomputer. You're eight fucking years old. I mean, you know. Not that I know how programming supercomputers works, it might be really easy. Like, what did you program it to do? Like, say hello world. I know a lot of people that could do that. But it's very unspecific. But I'm just going to assume that they didn't know what they were talking about. That's the thing as well, you make an impossibly smart character, and it's like... I don't know. I feel like if you're going to take the piss, with a character being really smart. You shouldn't be able to have that character do anything you couldn't do yourself. So that's fine. Have have Tails reprogram a supercomputer with God knows what. But if you're going to do that, one of you, someone in your department has to do it first. Just to prove that it's possible to reprogram a supercomputer with a jar of sexual lubricant, and it's not actually that, I think it's toothpaste or something, and a toothpick. Uh, you might need to borrow someone's supercomputer. I don't know where you'll find someone fool enough to lend you one, but, you know, I'm sure such people exist. You've got to know some friends that... Oh, hello. 
you know, just give it a try. But, yeah, the bottom line is, don't, come on, don't take the piss, guys. Don't make characters annoying, they smile. It's just, no, no one will like you for it. And stop saying I'm going to hack into a mainframe. Why is everyone so obsessed with hacking into mainframes? And then they type, like, oh, bobsled race, yay. <clears throat> yeah, oh, I'm hacking into a mainframe, I'm typing without looking, and just hitting keys. I think you'll find hacking is a bit more of a tedious process. <laughs> Not that I've ever tried it. You know, I would suck at hacking. I'm, I'm terrible at anything to do with computing. Um, you know, I can't write a working program. Or well, I can with a lot of guidance. But yeah, most programs I write suck. <clears throat> so yeah. Oh look, we're in another stage. I hadn't even noticed. I'm not going through those rings, I'm not going to risk it. Okay. I really hope these turtles aren't endangered. If so, I'm a terrible person. Ah, uh, up. Because we're going up. Huh, huh. I don't get it. When you've got two power cores. Oh! Speaking of the devil. Speaking of the devil? Speaking of the devil. Two power cores. It's very easy to do a lot of things when you're in zero gravity. But it's also not easy to do some things. Like, have you ever tried... Just something as simple as putting your trousers on in zero gravity. Have you ever tried that? Neither have I. But I'm sure it's very difficult. Eh. No. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah. They're growing faster than I can jump on them. Yeah. Fine, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Right. I don't think we want to go up there. There's no enemies. There's no enemies up here. But there are enemies down here. Yachacha, yachacha. Yeah. Eggman's robots must what? I'm going to finish your sentences. Come on. I'll wait for the pole to grow. I guess I'll collect some rings. If I'm here, I may as well do a bit of shoplifting. Well, it's not a shop. A power plant lifting, I suppose. But seriously, kids, shoplifting is bad. It's not big, it's not cool. That sounded so... like... It almost sounded as if I was being sarcastic. I'm not, by the way. I, I, I genuinely mean it when I say shoplifting is bad. It, it is... you know... Illegal things generally are. That's what the law is for, to stop you doing bad things. But I think some laws were just put there arbitrarily. Right, die all of you. Only 50 left. Must be my birthday. more enemies in Team Dark stages than anyone else's, I think. Oh. There's 
They don't look like punks. They don't have mohawks. And they're not listening to, you know, the dead Kennedys and whatnot. Yeah. Notice how I didn't say Sex Pistols. Ah. I mean, you know. That's old punk. There is new punk, but it's... Is it me, or is it just not as punky anymore? Punk used to be about, you know, complaining about stuff that wasn't right. You know, sticking it to the man, as they say in School of Rock. That's what punk rock is. You know. But nowadays, it seems like there just isn't as much to complain about. So, I don't know, has punk become celebratory? I'm not the authority on all that is music, so I don't really know. You know, maybe there are still punk bands that, you know, actually do want to, you know, are very political and whatnot. I just don't know. I... I need to get out more, I think. Well, I'm, I'm in here playing Sonic Heroes for a YouTube audience. I definitely need to get out more. Ow! God damn it, Steve. That turtle's name was Steve. God rest his soul. Um. Aha! I'm going to use Shadow, but you weren't expecting that. Damn it, you're expecting it. Stupid flying aces. Oh, I meant to say asses, but I said aces for some reason. It just flows naturally, doesn't it? Because flying aces is a thing. Okay. Must get this right. Ten more enemies, guys. We're gonna do it. Are there any down there? That was the right one as well. Two more. Come on, we're gonna do it. Bounce them off the walls. What skill? It's typical that I've got one more robot left to kill and there's none in sight. Wait, team blast? No! Why can't I team blast? God damn. Will it kill them from here? I think so. Was that enough for an A rank? I hope so, I don't really want to do that again. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, I reckon if I'd have been one more second, that would have been a B rank. I could, I could be wrong. I reckon, not even one more second, it was like 659.93. A fraction of a second more. And I wouldn't have gotten my A rank, I think. 